Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about the importance of keyframes. Keyframing, it's, it's everywhere in Final Cut Pro and if you don't know how to use it, you will thank me, I know you will. Um, basically, what is a keyframe? I, I don't know really the technical term of it, but basically keyframes are a starting point and an ending point. The starting point being where you want to change something in, in your video. Let's say it's, it's your audio. Maybe you want the audio to go from a higher decimal rating down to a lower one. Well, at some point it has to start going down and then finally get to that, that lower point. It's a gradual decline. So you have a starting point and an ending point. Those are keyframes, the beginning and the end. Um, and the keyframes can be set for all kinds of different things. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to jump right in here and get started. What I have here is a little clip um, from a project that I'm working on. And I've got some music that I brought in from Soundtrack Pro. Very simple to do. And then I have the video. And it's just this little quick clip here. There we go. This is a this is going to be a demo reel for this 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 actor here, um, Robert William Ford, amazing amazing actor. I'm doing the demo reel for him, so that's pretty pretty cool. But anyways, that's not the important part. The important part is keyframes. Anyways, all right. Well, let's get started here. We're going to start with the audio. Okay, we're going to double click on our audio clip to bring it up in our viewer. Now you can come up here and you can see the the in point and the out point of this audio clip, the beginning and the end, okay? You scroll through the whole thing. Now let's say right about here, I want the audio to start going down. I want it to slowly go down. So what am I do? This is your keyframe button. You're going to find these everywhere. You're going to find them in everything, transitions and effects and, and different levels and everything. So I'm going to set a keyframe right here because this is where I want the audio to start going down. And it's going to go down gradually till right about here. It's going to be completely silent. So I set another keyframe. So that's where it's going to end. So now I can go over here to this keyframe, hover over it, select it, and just drag it down. Okay? And there you go. Now the, the audio is going to be completely down right there. Um, then I can also, if I want it to stay down, I'm actually kind of surprised that it didn't stay down, but I'll just go to the very end of the clip, select another keyframe, and Drag it all the way down. Okay, so it's down. Now we can go back through and play it. Simple as that. It's gone. You know, if you want to get rid of a keyframe, just hover over it, right click, and hit clear. And it's gone. You can do that with every keyframe. I'm sure there's probably an easier way. I think you might be able to hit this X button. Yeah, and that pretty much just clears it back. So, yeah, that's a really easy way to adjust your audio. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit better way than using the audio transitions. Um, sometimes there's little glitches with those. I don't really like to use those that much. Um, okay, in the video, some people like to go up to effects and they like to have the cross dissolves, you know. They can throw a cross dissolve in there and it, it slowly fades from black, you know. I don't like to use those. I like to use keyframes. Now, what do I do? Double click on your video. You bring it up uh, in your viewer. Now you're going to go up into motion and opacity. Everybody knows what opacity is, right? Well, if you don't, we'll figure it out. Anyways, we're going to select the very beginning of the clip, the very beginning, okay? And we're going to set a keyframe there. Now we're going to drag the opacity all the way down to nothing. And then we'll just go ahead a little bit. We'll say, okay, this is where I want. Um, I want it to slowly fade up to this point. I'll select another keyframe, and at that point, then I just drag it all the way up. So, basically what's going to happen after I render this, I'll show you. Okay. Now we'll go back to it and we'll play it. And there you go. It's a perfect fade. There's no, you know, sometimes with, with the, the cross dissolves and the fade in and fade out dissolve transitions, you get sort of little glitches of, of you know, or it, it's not it's not as smooth as that. Um, anyway, so, okay, we've got that. That is cool, right? Yes, okay. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to clear these out. Hit the X button, and they're back to, back to normal. 
And of course, it has to render again. Um, okay, so what else can you do with them? Effects. Every effect is pretty much can be controlled with um, with keyframes. I'm going to do a basic color corrector. Okay, I dragged it down in here. I double click to bring it up in the viewer. Select the color corrector. Now, at the beginning of this clip, I I just want it to be to to look you know normal, just to be like the normal video that it is. So oh, there's that keyframe again. I want to set a keyframe at the beginning of the clip. Now, let's say about halfway through here. At this point, I want everything blown out. I want the whites up. I want the mids way up. I want the blacks down. And then I want the... Actually, you know, that's not as much as I really hope for. You know what? Let's just really go to town on this thing. Okay? Okay, so that's where... That's what I want it to look like. Okay, so your keyframe is set. And now you can go through and render it. Okay, and now let's watch it. Pretty simple. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to just undo this. Bring it back to normal. recognizes that a change has been made and it sets a keyframe. See, there it is. And there we go. So, again, render it. Okay, and let's watch. There we go. It was really quick. Um, oh, here's another thing you can do. Let's say I, I watch this and I say, well, that oops, that zoom worked, but it was just it just went a little bit too quick for me. I want it to, uh, to go a little bit longer. So you can just go up here, select this keyframe, and just click and drag it. Okay? We gotta render it again. Okay, so now we can watch it. Oops. <laughs> and it's gonna much more gradual. So, anyways, keyframes can be used with pretty much anything. Um, any of the effects can be adjusted with, with keyframes. Um, even basic. Anything in motion, your basic motion, you know, your crops. Um, you know, I can, uh, you know, I can set a keyframe right here, and then right here, I can change the left and crop the left side all the way over, you know, and you probably understand them, and you will. You will thank me later because you got to know how to use keyframes. So, anyways, guys, I hope this was a uh, help to you guys, and uh, I will talk to you later.